welcome back to my channel or if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel um, I've just arrived in Langdale again but um, yeah but um, planning to do something a bit this different this time weather is it's, it's a nice day but uh, quite a bit of cloud around as well I mean there's no rain forecast but you know we're in the lake so anything could happen if I've got chocolate on my face or on my teeth or anything I've just had a chocolate bar so I apologize for that um, yeah so I'm in the Langdales want to head up towards uh, the Langdale Pikes but you know me I want to do a different route this time and uh, I've been studying the maps there's a the Langdale Pikes up there so I've been studying the maps looking for different options quieter options because that park car, car park is absolutely heaving uh stickle barn is really busy there there's you know there's a lot of people everywhere so i wanted somewhere quiet um, and out of the way i'm not sure where, where i'm going to actually pitch when i get up there but the interesting bit is going to be getting up there i think see that there white gill ravine i think it's called so that's my plan to head up there i uh, never been up there before, it looks pretty uh, interesting to say the least. So, it's going to be a bit of making it up as I go along really. And uh, I've done a bit of reading up on it and I, I sort of know what to expect. There's no climbing involved, allegedly, but uh, it looks like fun, I think. <laughs> right, so enough rambling on, let's... Uh, get off and get up there So I've just crossed the road now, and uh, I guess this is the bottom of the ravine. And uh, when there's a lot of rain, it all comes crashing through there and, and down here. Well, I've been going about 10 minutes, <laughs> knackered already. But I mean, calves are like, Ugh. Some people climbing up there. So we need to get over this stile and head that way and then turn right into the ravine. <sighs> what have I done? <laughs> right, I've just reached the bottom of the ravine. There it is. As you can see, it's quite badly overgrown. But uh, I think the route is to stay on this right hand side of the ravine and head up that way so I'm going to sort of make my way through these ferns and just see if I can see anything any re resemblance of a path I mean the alternative is to walk up the stream bed there but um, again I'll just have to make this up as I go along uh, there's no distinct path I don't think on this as you can imagine I won't uh, I don't think many other uh, idiots have been up this way, especially with a camping rucksack. <laughs> right, let's go. So I've just cleared the trees and bushes at the bottom and it's cleared now. And I think I'm gonna just follow the stream bed as far as I can. Seems straightforward enough. But um, the tree growing right in the middle of the ravine up there, how weird. One there, one right up there. So that's where where we're heading. And just uh, just take it easy on this. I don't you don't want any uh, injuries, especially with being on my own. I mean, I won't see anyone in here, that's for sure. Um, so we don't want any mountain rescues. Just got to be careful and uh, watch what we're doing. Let's get on with it.
So I've just passed that uh, that tree that I mentioned earlier that's growing in the middle of the, of the ravine. <laughs> Weird. But uh, it's brilliant this. Look at that. And then continuing up that way. Wow. So spectacular. And the path's actually not too bad. It comes and goes sort of within the stream bed, but uh, there is a there is a bit of a path. It's quite uh, shaly and loose, as you can see. So you do have to be careful, but uh, it's not too bad. We'll carry on a bit further. To the open fells now and uh, looking across there to Pavey Ark and Jack's Rake, uh, Harrison Stickle there, I think coming round to Coldale Tarn I think that is, you can see about three or four tents down there and then Easdale Tarn down there, I haven't seen anyone, <laughs> this is like a bit of a no man's land between 
the tarns and the, the wane rights, so it's really quiet. Breezy though, yeah, it really is. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, what time is it? It's only five o'clock, so plenty of time. And that up there is uh, Sergeant Man. That's the sign, the site of my first ever wild camp back in December 2016 winter. That was a freezing one. First ever wild camp in my uh, Hillyburg solo. <laughs> Throwing myself in at the deep end. Yeah, so I'm going to have a, a mooch about here and have a look at the map and just have a think about where I fancy uh, pitching. Right, so it's six o'clock now. I've just been mooching about on these fells up here and I can't really find anywhere that I fancy, if I'm honest. That wind, I'm trying to get somewhere with some shelter behind these rocks, but uh, the ground's really boggy or uneven, tuffety. So um, I'm struggling. That's uh, Sergeant Man there. So I'm even wondering, it's, I say it's six o'clock now, I'm even wondering about uh, having a look over there. That's uh, Pavey Ark. So there might be somewhere over the back of there. Problem with this pitch is, if I pitch here, I won't get a sunrise in the morning. First world problems. Um, yeah, so it's six o'clock, I've plenty of time. I think I'm just gonna have a wander over there. That's uh, Boar Fell there, S Pike, and we can see Scar Fell Pike as well from here. Yeah. Let's have a, a mooch over there and see what we can uh, see what we can find. So I'm still walking and uh, I'm in the heart of the Langdale Pikes now, that's uh, Harrison Stickle there, Piker Stickle there, I camped there this winter, Piker Stickle, video on that, and it's, it's getting really windy, um, and I'm looking for that elusive pitch, <laughs> I'm going to have a look at Harrison Stickle, see if there's anywhere flattish on there with, uh, with a bit of shelter. Not somewhere I've camped before, so that'd be good if we could find somewhere. It's just uh, with this tent, it's, it's quite a fussy pitch. So um, I brought the duo mid. I love it, but you know you just need to be uh, you just need to be quite uh, choosy with the pitch. But I'll find somewhere. Uh, into the bog. Right. So we'll uh, see what we can find over here. Harrison Stickle. Well, that's a nice view down to Stickle Tarn. Look at that. Baby Ark, Stickle Tarn. Harrison Stickle. Beautiful that, now the sun's come out and the wind. I've found some shelter. That's good. But uh, I can't get the, I can't put the tent on this, that's for sure. That's, uh, that's no good at all. So uh, I keep looking. So I just got pitched up and I just got changed. Temperature's dropping a bit now, that sun's gone down and uh, pleased with this what do you think the pitch isn't great I mean uh, this tent needs a, a flat surface really so I'm struggling a bit at that far corner but it's good enough it really is and uh, I'm more interested in the location than the pitch than that that is pretty damn good there they are there Jack's rake some people actually on Jack's rake there then looking down to Stickle Tarn, a few tents down there, and uh, across to Great Langdale, Lingmore, Blee Tarn, then out to uh, Weatherlam. Fantastic, it really is. That wind's dropped for a minute, but the uh, forecast is uh, to be quite gusty tonight. But hopefully, I've got a bit of shelter down here, but who knows? <laughs> Right, so it's just gone seven o'clock now and uh, I'm knackered, I haven't stopped since I set off. 
went up that gully and uh, that ravine and then just I was going to camp over there but I just couldn't find anywhere that I fancied so you know it's like keep going and keep going and I ended up here on the side of Harrison Stickle so I'm really pleased with this so I've got changed now I've got my warmer gear on and I'm going to just uh, get the kettle on I think and get something to eat and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit Well, good morning. It was uh, quite windy last night, really windy actually. And uh, from about two o'clock till even now, it's it's been raining. So the tents uh, tent soaking wet, fine inside. But uh, yeah, and uh, just looking outside, it's a bit it's a bit grey and miserable. But the sun's trying to break through. I'll just show you. Yeah, so the sun came up about, I think it was about 25 to 5, but because of all the cloud, there was, <laughs> so there was no real sunlight, there, sunlight there is blinding me now. Um, yeah, so I didn't bother getting up, it's, um, it's quarter past 7 now, so I'm just going to chill out for a bit, there's no rush, everything's soaking wet, and uh, typically because it's summer, I, uh, I didn't bring any, any waterproofs. Um, but I've just looked at the forecast and it's supposed to be drying up from about 8 o'clock. Well, that's what they're forecasting anyway. But uh, anything can happen, I guess. Yeah, so I'm probably just going to chill out for a bit and uh, no rush. There's no one going to bother me up here, that's for sure. Not at, not at this on this pitch. But um, yeah, temp was great in the night. Quite, as I say, quite windy and I thought... Mm. Because uh, I'm not too confident about this tent in the wind, but no, it did good. It did good. 
Yeah, so chill out for a bit and uh, I'll catch up with you later. up leave no trace as always nice and tidy but uh, that sun comes out and I'm boiling and then the sun goes in and the wind comes at you and it's freezing so it's uh, it's one of them days but just looking down to uh, down to the tarn there pavy art there down to sprinkling tarn sorry not sprinkling tarn stickle tarn have I, call, have I keep, do I keep calling it sprinkling tarn? Well, you know what I'm like. Stickle tarn. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. The thing is now, I've got to go up to Harrison Stickle. Sorry. And, uh, and then back round and, and down. So I'm heading down that way there, pick up that path and head back down to the car park. Yeah, let's go.
So I'm just uh, on my way back now, heading back down to uh, New Dungeon Gill. And uh, look at that. That's Dungeon Gill there coming down. Really spectacular that. And uh, just looking back up to where I've come down from. I stayed just on uh, the side of Harrison Stickle last night. I went up to, to the summit this morning, but that's not a new Wayne Wright for me. I've been there before, so there's no new Wayne Wrights at all on this walk. But I just wanted to mention about the uh, the bagging thing. When I keep saying I'm not a bagger, what I mean by that is I don't actually set off to tick off Wayne Wrights when, I, when I'm planning my routes or my walks. Um, I mean, if there's any sort of nearby and I know about them, I'll go and have a look at them. But uh, it's certainly not my priority. I mean, last night uh, when I walked on the map, I wandered right past one and probably a couple of hundred yards away, but I didn't even know. So I don't, don't take it too seriously. It's just a bit of fun. So yeah, there's a bit of uh, bit of rain. I can feel it in the air now. And as I said earlier, I don't have any waterproofs. Um, so I think I'm going to just uh, head back and sign off here. So big thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, get in the comments if you've got any, anything to uh, say to me about my kit or, or the routes or if you, if you need to ask any questions or any advice from me, I always appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. See ya.